welcome to the So Sweet Kitchen. Hello, everyone. It's a beautiful Tuesday today, and I'm in the kitchen cutting up some homemade caramels that I made on Sunday, actually. I'm wrapping up the last of them, and I thought it would be fun. Welcome, Kelly Puckett. I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to wrap these up very beautifully. Hey, from the Outer Banks, Sharon. I'm jealous. Jealous, jealous, jealous. That must be nice. I bet it's beautiful out there today. Hello. This is my So Sweet Kitchen. My name is Sarah, everybody, and these are apple. Yeah, give me some hearts. I love the hearts. Show me the love. Show me the love. Um, these are apple cider caramels that I made this past Sunday. And I, I made vanilla bean caramels as well. And um, I had some left, so I thought I would show you how to wrap them very beautifully, package them. They're great for gift giving, especially with the holiday season coming up. Thank you for the love. If you want to share this broadcast with anybody who is into your friends that might be into do-it-yourself gift giving, um, just swipe up or to the side and click share. You can even share it on Facebook now if you have an iPhone. So, um... This is the rest of the, this is about a little, maybe close to a half a pound of caramels that I have remaining. This is what I like to cut them with. A uh, very nice, sharp pizza cutter that I got from Pamper Chef. Do be careful though, because you could probably remove a finger if you did not be careful. So I've cut them up. I have already, let me show you what I have here. This is a, if, well, I sell these or I did sell them last year. So I used a scale. I have this lovely electronic scale that I use a lot for Weighing stuff in the kitchen, so what I did was turn the scale on, tear it to zero with my bowl inside of it or on it, and I, I usually will sell them by quarter pound, half pound, or whole pound. So I'm going to measure out a quarter pound today, and so I just put them right in here until it gets to 0.25, and now we're at 18.2. So let me show you how to wrap a few really quickly. I found these great clear, I don't know if you can see that, clear candy wrappers on Amazon. They are called high quality caramel wrappers. I think it's funny because it says they come in a count of 800 to 1,000. I don't know if you have a problem with that. I think that's kind of odd. Is it going to be 800 or 1,000? Is it is 200? That's kind of a large difference that you might get. But anyway, I got a ton of them. So I was happy with the purchase with the price and the quality. They have never torn on me. I also had purchased these. Um, it's more like a wax paper. It's called a twisting wax paper. They're very pretty. Um, however, they they tore a lot, and I found it much easier, and I could work more quickly with the clear um, the clear candy wrappers. All right, let me move this out of the way so you can see. So this is very simple. It is very nice to have someone helping you when you do this, especially when you're making hundreds of them like I did. Um, you can talk and candy wrap. So you just want to lay the wrapper down, put the caramel in inside the wrapper and I like to put it close enough to the edge so when I pull up the first side it comes right to welcome thank you for joining today um, right to the edge of the caramel so see the first wrap goes right to the edge right there then you just continue to roll the caramel all the way over this is the end you're going to twist in opposite direction so just like this one counterclockwise and one clockwise and that's it beautiful delicious caramel and that's all it takes. So you just repeat that until you finish um, the quantity that you're hoping to get, give. A lot of people purchased these for me last year for gift giving to teachers gifts during the um, Christmas season. I gave them as gifts during Christmas. They're fun. I like to just surprise someone. I sent some to my son's teacher for back to school. Um, if you want someone to like you, make some homemade. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> to make some homemade caramels. These, um, I, I broadcast this apple cider caramel recipe on Sunday, but I've uploaded it to YouTube. You can just search for me under Sarah Mitchell or Sarah Kristen 00, the same as on here, and you can find that video to see how to actually make them. Okay, one more should make it. Usually it's never tw uh, a quarter of a pound on the dot, obviously, but I always give a little extra. You never wanna skimp on your candies. All right. Okay, so here we go. There's a quarter of a pound. Then I have these little treat bags. I bought these from Amazon as well as I've gotten at Hobby Lobby before. It's a clear treat bag. I just open those up. 
Hello, Megan. We're making, well, we're gift basket. Uh, I can't talk today. I think I've got peanut butter in my mouth. We are making pretty little gift bags to give treats to for whatever reason. You don't have to have a reason. But if you don't eat them all yourself, then you're a good person because they are amazing. Okay, thank you for the hearts. Okay, so there's a quarter of a pound. And then what I have is this Baker's Wine. I have it in red and white. I got a lot of this. I also have this color I'll use. This is blue and light. Where do you post your recipes? Um, on, on Facebook, I have a cooking classes page. It's called So Sweet, one word, So Sweet Cooking Classes. And you can ask to join on there, and I will post my recipes on the So Sweet Cooking Classes. Um, I am working now on getting a blog up, and I will also be posting recipes on there. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so this is the Baker's Twine. I just eyeball it. You always want to have plenty of twine. And then, this is my little do-it-yourself part that's fun. I made these cute little um, tags. I bought the die cut uh, for making your own like cupcake toppers. So I've got the little flowery one. And then just this round circle. And so what I did is the bottom is like a thicker... I don't know what you call it when it comes to paper, but it's a heavier weight paper. And then the top is just a scrapbook. I got this at, I think, Hobby Lobby or at Michael's. I found a scrapbook booklet that has all different designs. And so this paper actually has larger polka dots on the back. Cardstock, thank you. Oh, I think as I get older, my brain just is leaving, leaving the inside of my head because words elude me constantly. So then I use, you can use glue, you can get those little sticky stickers to stick them together, whatever you have handy, and uh, put those together. Then I had a hole punch, punch the top. So then this is gonna be my tag. And then I had these, a friend of mine made these for me, who has one of those, I think, Creek Cut or Silhouette. These are the ones I used um, when I was selling them. So it's a little fancier and prettier, but sometimes I like, the, I like the homemade touch myself. I think it looks nice, especially if you're gift giving to your own friends or family. They appreciate that. Well, they might not appreciate the name tag as much as I would, but I guarantee you they will appreciate what is in this tasty little bag. No doubt. Okay, so I tie it one time. Then I stick the Baker's Twine through the... I think you guys could probably figure this part out, but anyway. For demonstration purposes. You tie... Oops, I over-tied. Try it again. Right now on my diffuser, I have, I'm have i diffusing clove and orange. It smells like fall in here. It's so fabulous. It just smells lovely. Okay, so there you go. Now, who would not like to receive this beautiful little bag of homemade caramels from the heart? These are apple cider caramels. When you put them in your mouth, it is like having fall explode in your mouth. I don't know if explode is a good word, but it's just, they're really, really yummy. Very delicious. So, these are great. They sound uber ummy. <laughs> they are. They really are. Um, and really, they're not hard at all to make. So you need to, I I'm uploaded the video, Megan, on YouTube if you want to watch the video on how to make them. But I can also hand type it and put it on my um, So Sweet cooking classes on Facebook. So there you go. Cute little gift giving. Or if you're just like me, you just leave them in the refrigerator. They will keep actually for two weeks um, at room temperature. Yes, you do need a candy thermometer. Let me show you the one I have. Um, and this is the one you need to get. I love it. Go on Amazon. Um, this says CDN. That's the brand, the brand I suppose. Um, this is awesome. Ever since I've purchased this, I have not overcooked any of my caramels or candy or anything. It beeps and allows you to know when you're within two degrees of your candy reaching the desired temperature. And then it beeps really quickly or fast when it's time to remove it, when it reaches the desired temperature. So once I got this, this has saved my life because my old timey one was 12 degrees off. If you do have a candy thermometer, here's a helpful hint. If you're not sure if the temperature is reading accurately, boil some water. We all know that temperature boils at 112 degrees, so you can put your thermometer into the boiling water to gauge if it is reading accurately or not. That's a free tip, you guys. All right, thank you for joining me. That's it. I am going to go eat a caramel and give myself a treat for working so hard in the kitchen here at So Sweet Kitchen. Does anybody have any questions? comments or concerns thanks again for joining me and thank you for all the lovely hearts i appreciate it and i will look forward to seeing you again soon talk to you guys later bye